Hi there, and welcome to this new video about my converted bus. In previous ones I showed you the Q&A, my new RV interior, and the test of new diesel fuels for this bus. In this one it's all about the driving. Special skills, am I a good driver, or am I a bad one? And the final verdict. There are people with a pretty strong opinion on that matter. You're a lousy driver. Well, thank you. But I'll talk to you later. Let's start with the required skills to drive this bus. The basic handling isn't really that complicated. I mean, like an average car, she has four wheels, one steering wheel, and a six gear stick shift. But where I come from, that is not unusual. Then about her dimensions and weight. She is 8.5 meters long, 2.5 meters wide and 3.4 meters high. And she weighs about 9 tons. Is that big? Well, some say she's huge, a monster. Some say she's a tiny little bus. All I know is, well, that it depends on where you take her. And because I usually take her to all kinds of places where she doesn't fit in very easily, yes, we can consider her as a rather big vehicle that needs a driver with some extra handling skills. Now there are about three groups of drivers. The talented ones, the lousy ones, and the biggest group, the average ones. If I may say so, I seem to be a pretty good driver. I drive this bus over the highway, through little villages, over the mountains, through one-way tunnels, on the ferry, off the ferry again, to the North Cape, to go skiing, on the beach, and to meetings with like-minded bus people. And I seem to be doing all that driving very easy and smoothly. In fact, I'm such a good driver that I can't stand the bad ones. And from behind my steering wheel, I let them know so out loud. Give me some space here. Come on! Come on, let's go! Vandaag nog? And while driving, I even do YouTube interviews. Have a seat, yes, thanks. Man, I must be very talented. Yes, and because of that, no one is allowed to drive any of my vehicles. That goes for my average car. Can I drive? No, rather not. And especially for my bus. What the heck? Can I drive? Hell no! Get out! Absolutely no one. This is my driver's seat, my steering wheel, and I am king of the road. But there is a second me. And if I may say so, I'm a pretty bad driver. I damaged this left side from here to here by hitting a guardrail on a totally empty Swedish parking lot. Next trip, I did something similar to the right side, from here all the way here. Now let me show you why that happened. In my average car, this is my position, this is the steering wheel, and this is the position of the steering axle. Then to the bus. Me again, steering wheel, and uh, steering axle. Big difference I couldn't get used to, so I damaged both sides by steering far too early. 
until I learned to be more patient. Just wait, wait, wait. And then now. Did that work? No. I overcompensated and started hitting lampposts, traffic signs and tunnel walls. So this was my first mirror, second one, third one and so on. Now let's see how I'm doing backwards. Almost home. And home, that's here. And this is where I park my bus. To get there, I have to go down this little road backwards. Okay, it is narrow and steep, but I must have done it about a hundred times by now. So here we go. Are you sure you want to record this? Yes, I am. Why shouldn't I? Well, it will not show your most impressive driving skills. Are you going to show it on YouTube? Yes, I am. Okay then, suit yourself. Now let me warn you, this may take a while. Uh oh. Yep. Now let's not bother you with this too long, but I can assure you that in real life this clumsy stuff takes me a lot of time and a lot of efforts. Every time again. So, am I a good driver? No. No, most probably I'm not. As long as I'm going straight and forward, I'm doing okay. But even then I have to keep an eye out for tunnel walls, guardrails, lampposts and so on. Am I a bad driver then? No, not that either. You might think so after all the clumsy stuff I showed you. But then again, I've never hurt someone or damaged anyone's belongings. And I always arrive at home safely, although it may take a while. I think it's fair to say, like most people, I'm just an average driver. And to be honest, I don't give a sh** because I don't need this talent to enjoy this. So, I will keep taking this rather big vehicle to all those rather tiny places where she hardly fits, just by being an average driver. Although some people do not agree with that conclusion. Done. Oh my goodness, there he is again. That didn't go very well, did it? You're a lousy driver. Can I drive? Can you believe this guy? Get out! Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next. Bye!